Did you know that Robert E. Lee was offered command of the Union Army and turned it down? Lee was among the most highly regarded military men at the onset of the war. He had graduated second in his class from West Point, served with distinction during the Mexican-American War, and as the superintendent of West Point, he trained the men that would both fight with and against him. President Lincoln offered Lee the command of the federal forces in April 1861. Lee declined the offer and two days later resigned from the army when the state of Virginia formally seceded, arguing that he could not fight against his fellow Virginians. If Virginia stands by the old Union, Lee wrote in his letter of resignation, so will I. But if she secedes, then I will follow my native state with my sword, and if need be, with my life. Of the nine army colonels from Virginia prior to the war, only Lee chose to fight for the Confederacy. Check out our five-part series on the Civil War.